Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I'd do another uh, makeup collection video. So the next one on my list that was asked for was a palette video. Um, so I've got all my palettes here. I was going to split it into two videos, but actually I don't have as many palettes as I thought I did, which is definitely a good thing. Um, I'm going to start off with the ones I love and I use the most and yeah, I adore. And then I'm going to move on to ones that I kind of either don't use enough but really want to or I'm considering maybe decluttering them and I'm going to ask for your guys advice or help with that. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. The first three are from the same um, brand uh, so I thought I might as well clump them together. They look terrible on the outside, um, they've got so messy and I'm afraid, unfortunately they do mark um, but I do love them still a lot. So the first one is definitely my most used, it's probably no surprise, Ether Beauty Solstice Palette. Yeah, as you can see, I literally they're all like that, I'm just so bad at taking care of my makeup. So they do get a little bit, um, a little bit damaged. Um, so Ether Beauty, it's vegan, cruelty free, clean, fully recyclable um, packaging, every last bit, which is amazing. There's no mirror to ensure that. So yeah, this is a Solstice Palette. This is very much a neutral tone, but a warm toned neutral tone palette, which I love. I think it really suits my blue eyes really well, um, especially when you get to more summer. I mean, it's a really beautiful day to day. Um, it's perfect, in my opinion. And you can do a really nice soft look, a really deep look, shimmer, matte. I think it's a very versatile, easy palette to work with every day, or even evening glam. It works perfectly. Um, I think I've said before, Ether Beauty, some of my favourite mattes in particular. So I'm just going to swatch a few for you. I still can't remember the names. So this is Balance. Um, let's do Citrine. Let's do a couple of shimmers. Let's do, I should know that, Amber. And, oh no, that's Sister. This is Citrine. So there. I've done multiple looks with this, but I just thought I'd show you. Um, I do think, oh wow, well that was a bit shocking but <laughs> as you can see well especially the shimmers are beautiful but the mattes work really beautifully, they blend super easily and um, if you watch my makeup theory, therapy video, the Saucers palette was a palette I used, I just love it so much and like I said if you're into your warm tones, tones then it's perfect for you. Now if you prefer your more cool tones then the Rose Quartz palette is definitely more at it. I find this is quite a bridal looking palette in my opinion. You've got the kind of neutrals but the cool tone, you've got some greys, some shimmers but some interesting shimmers in here. It's definitely the softer of the Ether Beauty palettes in terms of the mattes. Still blendable and super pretty and pigmented but they're a softer finish than Solstice and the shimmers are softer as well so it's overall a really pretty soft palette. So if you like your soft makeup, you like your cool tones, this is more your palette. Let me clean my hands off. And we can... Okay, so what am I going to swatch? I will swatch... So I'm going to swatch Scorpio. Grounding. Let's go with... What are you? Reawakening. And uh, this is quite a cool one. A start. It's a duochrome purple blue, really pretty. As you can see, definitely a much more softer finish than the um, Solstice palette. Let's try carefully, shall we? Still messed up. So as you can see, the shimmers are definitely much softer, still beautiful, but like I said, just overall softer palette. Um, so if you love your cool tones, softness, this is the palette for you. And the final Ether Beauty, well, it's not my final Ether Beauty palette, but it's my final favourite or most used kind of palettes. So uh, the Amethyst palette. So again, I'd say it's more cool toned browns, but they're much darker, much richer. And then you've got your cool colours. So a bit more of a colourful one. If you love your purples, this is going to be perfect for you. Really, really pretty. You can still create soft looks by using these two shades and maybe adding just this colour in. But as you can see, you can really get your deepness going on and really bold, interesting eyes, um, which I think is really pretty. So, 
there's a swatch of you. That's you, and we'll do you. See how much deeper, much better. Look at that one. What was that one I swatched? Transcendent. Really pretty. I might stop swatching on it because I'm doing a very shocking job of that. Oh, yeah, transcendent at the end. It's kind of like, like almost like a black but with the purple overlaying it which looks really really pretty blue purple tones richer browns and really bold dramatic eyes then the amethyst palette is just for you okay another one i get a lot of use out of and it's more matte based um is the lovia matte mosaic palette so it's all mattes uh it's much it's colorful but it's soft color which i think really works and makes it really nice and wearable i've used it relatively recently so it's a real nice kind of, you can see you've got your neutral tones, you've got your pops of colour going on in there. It's nothing too intense, I don't think. So if you're not someone who necessarily experiments with colour a lot, but would like to, this is definitely a good palette. It's not too expensive, I can't think of the price at the top of my head. But it kind of gives Swaver, is it Swaver I'm thinking of? Vibes with the kind of way the palette's laid out. Um, but really pretty. Really lovely pops of colour that aren't too vibrant and too in your face. So like I said, if you're not used to experimenting with colour, but you want to start, this is a great kind of overall palette. And I do enjoy using this palette a lot. So um, I think it was recommended by one of you guys. So thank you very much for that. One that's quite recent that actually I purchased of Emma, Emily, sorry, because she was getting rid of it, um, is the Dosa Colours Francation Palette. I don't know if you can still get this one, which is such a shame. Um, but again, it's great, it's got your lovely neutral tones in there, but it's kind of... I was saying that it's got neutral tones, I'd say it's definitely more of an evening glam palette, because all the shimmers are quite... Just a Kiss is quite a soft, sweet one, so actually for daytime it's great, but the rest are definitely more bam. If you're going for that glam, perfect. I think my favourite, obviously, is A Moment, because, you know, I do love my blue. I also love Dirty Money. Yeah, Dirty Money. It's a really beautiful... Um, really beautiful uh, green gold and yeah really pretty but I've done a couple of looks obviously using the blues the greens I've done a nice cr cranberry look so it's a really nice palette and quite very intense shimmers which is why I say it's more like a glam palette despite the fact it's got neutrals but I'm so happy that um, Emily let me buy it off her because really really beautiful palette I'm so glad I got it Okay, the last two are probably more of the colourful ones out of my kind of favourite go-to. This one is not available anymore. They did try and bring it back, but they tried to uh, rip off the um, very talented KDMUA whilst doing this. But this is the Album Bible palette. Um, like I said, not available anymore. It's got a nice neutral tone, so it's also got really amazing colours. Um, as you can see, Veil's my most used because I love mixing in with other colours to create different shades. My favourite colour is Unruly. I just love this kind of more purple brown tone. Really, really pretty. I've done some really dramatic, bold looks with this, to be fair. Um, but a really nice combination of colours. And I feel like you can do a lot of looks with this. And really pigmented, nice and blendable. And I think overall really easy to use. So I, I do love this palette. And I think Kaylee MUA is really great. And then my Carnival XO, XO, XL Pro palette, which, you know, if I'm doing any kind of colourful look, this is most likely the palette I'm using. Great for when I'm doing Halloween looks and stuff. The mirror, it's good job I'm not too superstitious, because that's seven years bad luck my coming away. Um, but a nice range of colours, um, beautiful looks. Clearly Keen is my most used um, colour out of this palette and Nuke and Lights Out are definitely kind of my go-to. But really nice, they've got some they've got highlighters in here as well, but um, for my skin tone this one's just a bit too yellow and then these ones are too dark. So really nice eyeshadows and eyeshadow toppers, but a, but a real nice mix of colours. Some really fun, you've still got your neutral tones at the end there, so we've got like Lit. Oh, In Lust is pretty. I love Nuke. Oh, I love Showboat too. Let's do Showboat. And let's do a Shimmer. Shimmer, Shimmer, let's do... Let's do Inspire. Oh, yeah, really creamy, the Shimmers, actually. 
So that's Oh look at that, it's nuke. Is that nuke? Yeah. Wow. Um there's a reason I don't do um swatches, but yeah. A really nice, I mean, look at Showboat, that's so pretty. Um, but a really nice selection of colours, a vast, vast range of looks you can do with it. Like I said, when it gets to like Halloween time, I do my more creative looks. Um, it's perfect, because you I've pretty much got every shade that I need, and so really happy with this palette, and fortunately I've just broken the mirror. So those are my most used, most loved palettes. Now I'm going on to ones that some are, it's just that, I haven't used them for a while but I do really enjoy them when I have done and I want to get back into using them and there are others where I'm just a bit like I'm not sure if I do want to keep it or what I want to do with it so you have to let me know your thoughts down below. I'm not going to do this in any particular order. I'm going with these three. These I don't use these really on camera. These are um, my DFMA ones so my second lot of training in London. This is where these come from. So these are more sentimental reasons why I'm keeping them. I don't tend to go to them. So this is the independent palette. It's all neutrals. And you get two blushes in there. I've got there's a pink and purple palette. And then there's the colour block palette. Which actually for a rainbow palette isn't that great I don't think. I think my carnival is much better. Now, I don't know why I'm still holding on to these ones. It is kind of more sentimental reasons. I don't really reach them. I don't really use them. Nice quality and they work, blend really, really nicely. I do think I'm just keeping them more for sentimental reasons as opposed to the fact I actually use them. So maybe they probably should go at some point. So these next three, definitely I'm not getting rid of. I just need to get on and use them more because I do really enjoy them. One is the Makeup Revolution Kami palette, which Emily bought me for my birthday I believe. Um, really beautiful selection of colours. These, oh my goodness, that one, um, Money Maker and You Got This. Really creamy metallics and really pigmented and beautiful. This is more duochrome. That's really cool. And yeah, I think Money Maker's a different formula to the rest of the shimmers because it's definitely more like wet foil finish. And then you got some really nice mattes and then you also got some more, so I'd say these are more so these are more metallic shimmers, so where you've got the kind of pops of shimmers down here, which aren't as intense, but they're still like a shimmer. Um, and it's a really nice range of mattes as well. Um, and actually, they've kind of laid, out, laid it out really nicely, because I feel like if you go down like this, they all work really well as an eyeshadow look. So it's set out really nicely, and um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it the times I have used it. It's just one that for some reason has been sitting in my cupboard, or my drawer, sorry, and I just haven't been, haven't been using it for some reason, but, oh, look at that. It's just one that I need to definitely get back into and use it soon. Another one being the Juvia's Place, the Douche, Douche palette. Again, oh, this, see, now this springs spring to me, with like, especially this, these kind of colours, that colour, um, again, a really beautiful palette, definitely more if you like to play with colour, because there's not too many neutral shades in here. Um, work really nicely, blend really nicely, nice and pigmented, um, make an impact. Um, so I really like this palette, again, it's just another one that I haven't played around with too much recently. So I need to kind of put it forward, uh, put it to the front of my drawer, and start creating some looks. Especially, as I said, these kind of spring, scream spring to me, so... I need to get on and use that one for sure. And then the Paulina Blush by Blush Tribe. I know you can't get this anymore, um, but look at the colours in there. I know I used it for my live um, that I did, and yeah, just really fun, bright colours. I think especially as we're heading to summer, this is going to be a winner. Um, I don't really have a colour like Friends, which I really, really love. Um, Thingaling, really beautiful shimmer actually, I really like that. Let's just swatch that and let's swatch this. I mean that's a really cool, unusual colour combination. Oh, Yeah, do you know what, I might actually do a look soon using those two colour combinations. It's a very, very cool colour combination. And actually, I guess kind of spring, spring screen? Screams spring. Um, 
So yeah, I might have to I might have to do a look very 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 soon using those two colours because that's quite cool. Okay, onto some palettes which I'm not sure what I'm doing with yet. Well, I think I know what I'm doing with this one. So this is the other Ether Beauty palette I own. This is the Josh or Tree palette. I was so hoping for good things for this palette because it's colourful, really beautiful green. These are some very unusual shades going on here. I just really wanted this to work so badly and be really cool and a really something different from Ether Beauty and just in general, really quite cool. But I couldn't, the shadows just don't really blend very nicely together. It was actually, although looking at the palette, I could feel like I'd come up with quite a few colour combinations or different eye looks. But when it actually came to blending things together and putting colours together, for some reason on the eyes, they just didn't go together. I don't know what it is, I just, I'm really sad about this palette because I did really, really want it. And I did really like the look of it. And... I was just I was just disappointed by it, I'm afraid. Um, so I don't know what to do with it. I don't know if... Um, another one that was, I loved at the time, but I'm just not... Something just doesn't... It doesn't spark joy. That's the thing. And it's the ABH Riviera palette. Now it's still got some lovely colours in here. If I could actually just take Mediterranean out, I'd probably keep that and get rid of the rest. Um, I don't know, you know when just like, you look at a palette or look at something and it just doesn't inspire you in any way, shape or form. I think this is this palette. Uh, which is, it seems weird because there's some, I mean, seashells. Why wouldn't I like seashells? I love bluey greens. But I just don't know, I just don't gravitate towards it. I just don't use it. I have no urge to use it when I pick it up. So I think this might be another one that's kind of on its way out of my collection. Which is a shame, but... I love the packaging, but it's just not one I get reached for anymore, unfortunately. Um, another one is the Charlotte Tilbury Uptown Girl palette. Now, because this was my favourite shade in it, because it was like a translucent shimmer, given that very wet finish, and loads of you recommended the Rowan eyeshadows, which I picked up one, I love it. So I almost have no need for this palette anymore, because that was the shade that I loved the most out of it, and was the only one I really used. Um, I think these, they're okay, I think they're a bit over expensive for what they actually are. You only get four shades. Um, in some of the palettes, they don't shade, they don't really go together. I know Charlotte Tilbury is a very well, a good brand. I think there's some question about cruelty free status at the moment. Um, but yeah, I only loved it for this shade really, and I've got a replacement version, so I think that's another one that's, that is gonna. Okay, so I've only got five left. So I've got the Elf Mad for Matte Jaw Pop palette. Which is another one I did really enjoy. I just need to get in and use it again because the it's really inexpensive, and the colours blend nicely together. They work nicely together, and um, so yeah, this is one which I definitely need to get playing around with again. It's also a nice one for people beginning, uh, like beginners in colour makeup because although it look they're quite muted. They're quite muted, colourful shades, they're not super bright, they're not super ten intense and in your face. So you can do a lot more, I guess, wearable type of looks with this, these kind of colours. So if you are, like I said, a beginner, or wants to experiment a bit more colour, these shades work as well. They're, they're a bit more colourful than the Matte Mosaic palette, but they're not super intense like my Carnival palette in terms of brightness and in your face colour. Um, so yeah, so that's one I will be keeping. I just need to get on and play around with it. This one I'm not so sure. It's a pretty Naked 2 palette. Um, it's the kind of deeper neutral shades. It's got a nice blush illuminator. But again, I just don't really reach for it at the moment. I think now I've got my Ether Beauty Solstice palette I use the most. And actually probably most of these shades are kind of more in the Rose Quartz palette actually. With those, those three. And I've definitely got a blushes and highlighters I prefer more. So as lovely as these are, and they're kind of really great for on-the-go, quick, easy, everyday looks. I just don't gravitate towards it too much anymore. Um, so I think that might that might be gone. But I know a lot of people like the Hands Up Pure palettes, and um, they're really nice quality. They blend really nicely. Everything about them is really nice. I just don't gravitate towards it. And like I said, because I've got Ether Beauty, kind of the Rose Quartz and the Solstice palette, I don't feel a need for that. And I've got blushes and highlighters I prefer over those two in there anyway.
Okay, this next one I haven't actually played with, I've just swatched. I think I got it free in a super drug order I did. It's the You Are The Revolution, so it's from Makeup Revolution. It's just full of shimmers, metallics. Um, I've done a few swatching, but I haven't actually physically used it yet. Like I said, I think I got it free in a super drug order. So I might, I really quite like this one down here. So I'm gonna actually try and use this and have a play with it and see what it's actually like, because I don't know what it's like. Um, in terms of to use with but I mean that feels really nice that looks like a nice mm, intense gold so um, yeah I don't know my thoughts on that one yet because like I said I haven't played with that palette okay now the last two I don't think I need both but I think I might de -pop, de pop some of the eyeshadows of one palette into my Z palette um, so the one I think I'm definitely going to keep, but I need to play with a bit more, is the Colourpop Wet Palette. Um, purely because the shimmer blues in here are beautiful, and I love this green. Like, I love all the colours overall, and I couldn't pick, like, the Thickums is a really gorgeous silver, like, a very creamy, gorgeous silver. Very intense, with, oh, it's like a, uh, sorry, like a baby blue, icy blue. Stunning. Um... And yeah, Lol I'm Crying is gorgeous as well. And then, I need to clean my other fingers. Um, fishy. I mean, come on. They are beautiful. And for me, I love my blues. I love greens too. So that's a no-brainer. And I like the fact it's got some neutral tones just to help transition if that's what you want. If you don't like a full-on blue eye. I'm just like... Um, so I think that's really, really... Come on now. I mean, honestly, look at that one. That's just stunning. And that's stunning. And that's stunning. So, that's the one I think I'm going to keep. The one I might depop is the Blue Moon. Because there are a few, um, kind of... There's a lot less shimmers in here. And the shimmers, apart from... Apart from Billy Jean, because it's kind of a different... It's like a... Sorry. Apart from Billy Jean, because it's like a denim shimmer... Um, the other shimmers don't necessarily, especially these two, don't really scream at me. Loom is quite cool because it's like um, a blue iridescent shimmer. Um, but I think actually Thickums kind of replace that. But Billie Jean, I really like the look of. Um, and then I think the only things I would keep is probably Fine China and Clued In. Because in the wet palette, I've got Finished, which I guess kind of. It's a bit like Moonlight, which is this shade here. Although I, I quite like that shade. Well, maybe I would keep Moonlight then as well, but... Oh, but then Dabba Dee looks quite cool. Okay. Um, but I think, no, this wet palette is the palette I'm going to keep, just because I think overall all the shades are stunning. I think I'm going to depop some of these. Um, all beautiful, all really blendable, easy, easy to use, pigmented, everything like that. It's just some colours in here really scream at me, and some, I'm like, I can, I don't need those. Um, so I think this might be one where I might just take them out, put them in my Z palette to play with at a later date. But So that is this video complete. That's all the palettes I own. Um, I hope you found that interesting. Let me know your thoughts on some of the ones I'm potentially getting rid of, and what you think about them, and if you agree with my thoughts. And if you've got any of these palettes, let me know your thoughts on them. Or if there's any palettes you think I should add to my collection, then let me know as well down below. But I just thought, yeah, I, palettes was the next thing requested on, on the list of makeup collection stuff. So that's what I did. And I was going to break it into two videos, but I didn't have as many palettes as I thought I did. I have a fair few, but not as many as I thought I had. Um, so I really hope you found this useful and fun. Um, and yeah, leave any requests for future videos down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.